Hello guys and welcome to a new video. If you're here for the title of the video, then skip to the time shown on the screen. So last week, I played a total of three games. I lost the first two games and I won the last one. And what I usually do is cut the games that I lost and edit the one I won. But today we're doing something different as I'll be showing you the games I lost. First of all, because I want you to see what my server's like. I played these games in the morning and they were supposed to be relatively easy, but they were kind of challenging. Imagine what the night games would look like. They're literally hell. Second of all, I want to show you my mistakes and what I could have done better to win the fight. Because that's how we improve. We always learn from our mistakes. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Let's start with game 1. We had the platform in this game, but I was having some really hard games, so I decided to avoid it and land in black market to get some good loot under less pressure. Then head towards platform and eliminate the enemies that survived. I ended up being alone in black market, so I got all the loot that I needed and I headed towards the platform right away. And in there, I met the squad that took over the platform. This squad was decent, but the main challenge for me here is the fact that they were sticking together all the time. So they kept chasing me here and my plan was to wait for the ninja hook to be ready so that I can use it to get to the high ground on the platform. Other than the fact that this player had good aim, I made a big mistake of not finishing the enemies I knocked. First of all, right here. I mean, this guy was near me, but I think I had time to finish him off. And I could have simply used this pillar to block his vision while I finish off his teammate. And again, right here, I had a lot of time to finish him off, especially that his teammates were busy fighting someone else. And I think it would have been an easy fight if I finished off my kills. Moving on to game number 2. This time I landed in farm and there were at least 4 squads with me here. And usually I don't find enough loot in farm but this game I landed alone on this side and I managed to get a decent loot just in time for the first squad push. After that, I went to chase the last member of the squad and instead I encountered another two squads fighting. So I went in as a third party.
Unlike the first game, this one was kind of out of my hand. I stayed on this side of the roof to heal up and wait for the enemy to push while blocking the vision of his teammate that was covering him from the back. The funny thing is I cancelled the healing in the last second, but I don't think it would have made a difference anyway, because this guy had a really good aim and his teammate was damaging me with his MW. Even if I survived, the third teammate can finish me off easily. I'm sure these guys were on voice chat. Judging by the way, this guy was covering his teammate while he pushes me and the fact that two of them perfectly landed on me at once at the exact time of Adler push. Finally, we have game number three. Landing in the exact same house and again, I found a decent loot and I went out for kills. In here, I was thinking whether to go in or not, but I decided to back out since I didn't have much ammo remaining. I don't think it would have been enough for a full squad. So I went out looking for more loot and I couldn't find any because the entire area was looted. So my only option was to kill someone and take their loot. Later on, I met the same squad I avoided in the start, but this time under better circumstances, as I was stuck on loot and I was ready to go in. This push was very risky, but I did it because this enemy was a bit far away and I didn't realize that his teammate was camping there, but I still managed to outplay them. And whoever put this heli right here literally saved my life, otherwise I would have been dead to the zone. Moving on to another good fight, it was near the loadout airdrop as I spotted a squad right here. Now I could have stopped near this house and hooked to the roof and used it to take them out. But I learned from my lesson from last time and instead I went in for the high ground to get more info.
Flight will arrive in one minute. I talked about this in a very old video which is how to survive shotgun players. First of all, you should know that this is not a guaranteed way to survive. It just increases your chances of surviving. Because a good shotgun player can still kill you easily. But what I like to do is move sideways in unpredictable patterns. So what most shotgun players tend to do is predict the direction you're going to and shoot in that direction. So what you need to do is make it harder for them to predict that direction by moving randomly. Right here you can see that I moved a little bit to the right followed by a quick sharp turn to the left. And as a result you can see that the enemy aimed at the direction I was going for and missed. Same thing with the second enemy and this time he couldn't even aim at me. A short movement to the right followed by a quick long turn to the left putting me out of his vision while damaging him at the same time. Remember it's extremely important to damage the enemy in the process as it makes them panic and that way you increase the chances of them missing their shots. Don't ever let them get comfortable. Also I could have easily died to that need which would have really sucked after all the sweaty fights I've been through. Like getting one shotted by shotguns isn't enough already we have to worry about needs Moving on to the final stages of the game, I heard two squads firing and I went in as a third party. But it was too risky because it was an open ground with barely any cover and too many footsteps. So I waited for a better chance to engage. My aim was trash here but this tree saved my life as I used it to block his vision while he's in the air. Then I finished him off as soon as he came down because I was 2 bullets away from dying which he could have gotten while he was in the air if it wasn't for the tree blocking his vision. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I show how I died and what I could have done to avoid it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.